Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here with Quentin. Crazy, crazy show tonight. Yes, it, it was indeed. <laughs> um, I don't know if you've seen Twitter, but everybody is on Team Quentin. There's a lot of hashtags happening. That's. Uh, yeah. I hope it's a good thing. You know, I, I really want everyone to know that it, it was not my intention to disrespect the show or anyone. It yeah. was me having a genuine moment. You know, the situation sucked to me because yeah. it, it's a reality television show. There are real people and real emotions behind it. And at that time, I was hurting for people who I've grown to love. And I spoke on it. Yeah. And, I mean, that's just that. I thought it came across that way, and we did while we were watching it. But apparently Harry disagreed. <laughs> but you guys yeah. made up at the end all good now? I mean, yeah, like, no. I, there was never any problems. Like, it, m one thing I can say is I would never disrespect yeah. an adult, first of all, because I'm still a child in my own eyes. And Harry, because I, I appreciate him so much, and I respect him so much as, a, as an artist and as someone from New Orleans. Like, I, yeah. I feel obligated to, to, to kind of have that conversation. It was just me speaking to him. And it just so happens that there were cameras around, you know, and, and, and I'm glad that I kind of got the chance yeah. after to say, you know, I wasn't trying to disrespect. It was just what was going on. Yeah, so. just real. Yeah. Okay, talk to me. You came out rocking in the beginning of the show. How do you feel about that? Uh, that was a, a really intense moment. You know, I was feeling a lot from sitting there kind of thinking what was going to happen and then what happened yeah. kind of fired that performance. It was way more intense than I've ever rehearsed it because it... I was really feeling the lyrics, and the lyrics were so accurate to the show and the situation that it, I mean, the song took me. Yeah. I couldn't control it, so I was happy about it. It's and good. the second one, you know, it wasn't my best, but there's next week. Do you think everything was kind of getting in your head before going into the second performance? Absolutely. You know, I, I was trying to, to bring myself back down from being on 10. Yeah. And it, it's hard to do when you have so little time and you have to kind of focus on your next performance while there's people in your ear saying, you need to do this. Oh, you shouldn't have did that. So it, it's, 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 it was a moment. Yeah. And, and we all have it as humans. So. And your other half of Team Quirk is gone. What do you have to say to Joey? Joey... She knows that I love her. You know, it, it, I feel like I'm happy, more happy for her than I'm sad that she's leaving. Yeah. Because she gets a chance to really fly. You know, this was all just a training session. It was a boot camp for us as artists. And now I'm glad that she gets a chance to put everything that she's learned to work. And she's got it. So I, I'm not afraid that anything's going to happen. It just sucks that I can't, you know, grab her and shake yeah. her when I want to. So it, I love her. For She'll sure. be there. She'll be there. Always. Awesome. Always. Good seeing you guys. You, you did good. Thank you.